Hi guys, here we are, episode number one of the United Way FM19. Now, it is Monday night, this will be coming out Tuesday morning. I decided, after seeing all the stuff last week with the capture event and then everyone just smashing episodes, streams out, I just thought I'd just watch a few and then get into the game myself. So, I haven't really played it up until Saturday. Um, I had a quick play with my private save and then I jumped into this one. Um, thoughts so far, I'm really enjoying it. It has been a little bit of a head scratching sort of like start in terms of the tactics, the amount of extra bits that are now into the game and also the training, which to be fair, in this save, I'm just going to completely ignore. I think when it comes to the Baggio one, I think I will look at more the training and the stuff that they're doing, just stuff that I've read up on Baggio so far. I think he would be more of a coach than a manager. So for this save in particular, I'm just leaving my assistant to do the training. Tactics wise, it's been interesting. I've gone for the Gagan press. Now, not not just to, this is to fit the story. So the way that Manchester United are playing at the moment, um, and also the, the players that Man United have available. So the tiki taka wouldn't necessarily suit a Martial, a Rashford, a Sanchez, a Pogba, but we have got sort of like athletic players in there. So once again, your, your Sanchez's, your Lingards, your, your Pogba's, I've decided to go for the Gagan Press and it's working pretty well. Now, I don't want people to think that you plug in one of these tactics and it works. I have changed a couple of things. I've stepped it up to attacking. I've taken a couple of other little things off as well. Um, so don't just expect to plug it in and away you go and you win games. I'm loving the layout. The purple's never been a problem for me. I do like it. Um, this is my squad view. I love these little separators. Um, just it makes it a that little bit more crisper, that little bit more cleaner. Um, and that's it really. I'm not gonna dive in and say what everyone else has been saying, this and that. We will get into the stuff. So, transfers. We had 82 million to spend and we spent a big chunk of it. We spent 70 million of it, and then I think there was another sort of like 8 million in signing on fees. Um, we've not let anyone go apart from I've smashed out a loads of lads on loan, and I released three or four in the under 23s that were garbage just to bring down the training um, schedule, sort of like the the over the workloads of the coaches. We got Manalas in, um, 34 million. That was his uh, minimum release clause, which was pretty handy. Real Madrid were after it, but we dived in with a big a big contract, 150 grand a month, uh, a week, but definitely manageable for us. I was going to go for Varane, and then I actually noticed that lucky dog he'd signed him. Um, so I thought, right, I don't want to copy. So we went for Manalaz. He has got a nice little bit of pace, uh, which will help with the Gagan press in particular. And we also have got Eric Bailly in there, who's a big defender. So Manalaz and Bailly can squeeze right up the right up the pitch, because that's what we're doing, with, obviously, with the Gagan press. And then Belotti is in. I just didn't want to rely on Lukaku. Um, I do think Man United need another out-and-out -out striker in the team. I'm not the biggest fan of Rashford. Um, actually, Sanchez has done well for me in pre-season in there, up front, but he's got he's had a shocking injury and he's out for about five months. So Belotti came in. He's had a he's not scored in the in the league look, but he's he's done well in the Champions League. I think he's got a hat trick and he's just scored against Gillingham in the cup. Sort of like a rotation. What I'm finding with the save is the the amount of injuries. Now I don't know if it's we had this issue last year with the FM18 when it first came out and everyone was complaining about injuries. I am seeing to get a lot, a lot, a lot of injuries. Um, as you can see down here, Dolot's still not played for me. Rashford has barely played and Sanchez is out for a long time. I am starting to get players back, but I look at all the players that we've had injured as well recently. Um, I am rotating because obviously it's good that United have got such a big squad that I'm able to do that, but it's just a little bit annoying that I haven't been able to really put players in on a regular basis and see how they're going to gel together. Um, the star of the show has been Paul Pogba. I'm playing him as a shadow striker. So I don't believe in this playmaker. For me, he's all about running, getting in the box. So the goals that he scored uh, against City last year when he got into the box and got a, got a brace at the Etihad, them kind of runs he's been doing on a regular basis for us. And he's helped himself to six goals in uh, six league games. And then he must have got one in Europe as well. Um, so the schedule has been pretty good. The 
the pre-season was really tricky because Man United didn't have anybody back. So we only played four games. Um, and most of them came in and played that game against Chelsea, the opening game of the season. And we absolutely smashed them. They scored in the last kick of the game as well, but we played really well. Paul Pogba in his first game, he hadn't done any, any pre-season training. I think he'd come back the week of the game um, and he managed to get himself a hat-trick. We've, the only real blip that we had was Newcastle away. We didn't play well in the, that game. That's the only game we've not played well in. We did have a little draw at Wolves as well, but we absolutely smashed them. Their tactics were three at the back, two wing backs, two defensive midfielders, and I think they played with two strikers up front, I think, and it was very, very hard to break down. Um, so we're just calling that a, a blip in terms of unluckiness rather than us not playing well. So if we look at the league table, that's just moved us into third position. Two points off the top. Um, we have got Everton today who have found it hard. There's a few teams down there as well that you wouldn't maybe expect. West Ham, Bottom, Bournemouth, Everton, all struggling. Huddersfield have made a fantastic start to the season. So today's team looks like we've got De Gea in as a sweeper keeper. We've got a back four of Young, Bay, Manolas and Shaw. Matic is a ball winning midfielder that he doesn't really like, but he's very good at because he's tackling his... What's his tackling? He's tackling 16. Um, I didn't want a deep line playmaker because I just thought a deep line playmaker might just slow down, especially in the, tran the transitions where we're looking to attack quickly. Just having a deep line playmaker on the ball, I th just think would slow it down. We've got Fred in as a box-to-box -box midfielder. We've got Chong, who's going to keep his place on the right. Pogba in as a shadow striker and Martial off the left. Lukaku up front. As you can see, we've got a fair few injuries. They're just starting to come back, though. We've got Dolot not far away, Rashford. As I said, Sanchez is out for another two months. He's already been out for two months as well. Uh, and then we've got Lingard suspended. Anyway, let's get into it. Let's see how we get on. So here we go. First thing I just noticed straight away as well, even though they said nothing really about, in, in particular about the match ending changes, it does look a lot better. A lot, a lot better. In terms of the detail, in terms of the stands, the colours, it does seem a lot better. Here we go. First highlight of the game. It's been a quiet start considering... We've been starting really well in games, but Bernard is in, but that's easy for De Gea. The Everton have found it hard so far this season, but they have got a really good squad. Here we go. We are good at winning and hitting in behind. We are playing passing, we are passing to space on. Hopefully Young can deal with it. He does. He finds De Gea. He moves it out to Manalas. Shaw, he looks really good getting forward on the left. Martial, he's going for a run. He's going for a run. He's still going. He's still going. He's in. Oh, Lukaku. What a run for Martial. Here we go. A long throw. What was that from De Gea? They're going to be in here. Sigurdsson's in. Was that a good tackle? It was a good tackle. You know, always get worried with them. Good tackle by Shaw. Fred's now breaking. He's looking for options. He's been run out of play, though. He should have moved that ball a lot, lot quicker. Shaw's dived in. Sigurdsson's on it. We've dived in two or three times there. We've won the ball. Now Lukaku's got it. He finds Chong on the right. And Fred. Can he do better this time and knock it? And he's going for a run himself again. Lovely cross. Lukaku. There it is. A really good header. I'm still finding, same as FM18, even though I'm playing with inside forwards of this one, I am finding we're getting a lot of joy with headers, especially with people like Lukaku. We've got last chance probably before half time. It's been a... Decent half in terms of control. We've we have controlled the game and we've had plenty of opportunities. Half chances rather than clear cut. Can we get some? We're knocking it around well. Matic has found Shaw out wide. And he's going to get a cross in. The deflection. Whoop! Oh, that's a corner ball. That surely is not the highlight. Here we go, Young. Half cleared. To Matic. He's going to put it back out wide. It does. He finds Young. We got a ball in the box this time. Oh, and it's cleared. Are they Everton going to break on us now? Luke Shaw's done well at Harrison. Oh, but they're in. Richarlson. He's going to get a cross in. Well defended. And that's end of highlight. Weird highlight. I'm finding some of the highlights really long and not really coming to much there. They were In terms of what that highlight was, I don't know. I'm never sure to report stuff because I'm never sure it's just the game or it's the actual or it's actual or if it's an actual bug. But I'm finding the highlights a lot, lot longer. Here we go. First highlight of the second half. 
It's a poor throw by Sharp. And he's managed to win it back. Going for a amazing one. Where's he going? He's done well. He's done well. Martial. Should have scored. Should have scored. Luke Shaw, though, looking really good on the left. Let's just have... We're going to tell him to push forward. Here we go, Martial. We're going to cross Fred. Oh, he's blazed it over. What are we doing for chances? So no clear cut. Only two half chances. Feels like we've had more than that. We are dominating the play. Pogba is surely. Martial. Oh, thought Pog might have taken it on himself. Fred. Attack's not over. Chong. Lovely ball out to short. Oh, this is awesome. That is an awesome goal. That is awesome. Chong, Shaw, Martial. We'll, play, we'll do it again. We've got a little replay on this year for a little bit. Pogba to Chong. Out to Shaw. Lovely side foot pass into Martial. And he makes no mistake. Oh, his first goal of the season. Let's make a sub. Let's get Matic off. It's 2 0. Let's get Fellaini on. Anyone else struggling? I'm just going to whip off Pogba. Just merely because he's just come back from injury. 20 minutes to go. Let's introduce Bolotti. You can have a look at him. He is classed as a pressing forward. I have changed it. It was a pressing forward, but I've just gone for an advanced forward. I think we don't necessarily need a pressing forward up there. Oh, Ashley Young, 3-0. 3-0. Um, yeah, as I was saying, because we're, we're kind of dominating the games a lot, uh, territorially and, and with the possession, we don't really need to have a pressing forward up there because we have more of the ball. We have more of the ball anyway. And then advance forward, as long as the work rate's decent, they'll naturally chase down things anyway. But I just thought it might just give us that little bit of a more of an edge going forward. Calvert-Lewin, they're going to get a... We always do seem to concede late on when the game's about done. Still trying to find that balance of when to sit off or just to keep going. But Martial's in. Good work again from Luke Shaw. Oh, he's in. Square. Ooh, should he have squared it? I think he should have done. Oh, Ashley Young. Fred. That's a poor pass. That's one position that we will be looking at next year. Um, I am going to obviously we'll hopefully get Champions League football. We will we will have money to spend. Oh, just what I was I saying about Fred? He's had an absolute disaster there. Three one. I haven't decided to do any real sales this year. I thought it'd be quite hard anyway. So I thought I would leave, you know, players like Fellaini, Herrera. I think some of them are contracts are due. Ashley Young, players like that. Um, Mata, I might see if I can offload him as well. And get some more players. And I am aiming to not so much be the wheeler dealer that I was in the Magdeburg saves in FM18. More of just getting in three outstanding players, I think, to really make the first 11 even better. Hey, deflected. I think it was deflected, but Martial will claim it. It is United 4, Everton 1. There it is, guys. 4-1. A really impressive performance for you guys to see on camera. Dominating games, which I haven't had a lot of, especially last year with the type of football that I played. It was direct, so it's nice to have some possession this year. Obviously, we're always going to have possession. It may be different when I take on the Baggio uh, journeyman save, but it is nice to get... A little bit of possession action going on. Dominating games. We are up to second. I did forget to mention Champions League was pretty... Apart from... We were second seeds, but third seeds were Salzburg and then fourth seeds were Spartak Moscow. So we did pretty well there. I don't think we can grumble too much at the draw. Um, I have seen a few horror draws so far. Other people on content creators and also in... I think even in this one, there was a group... With Inter Milan in, I'm sure it was Inter Milan. That one's quite tasty. Real Madrid, Galatasaray, Roma, Leon. This one, Valencia, Inter Milan, PSG and Tottenham. And then Dortmund, Atletico Madrid and Monaco. All in the same group as well. So there's a couple of tasty, a couple of big boys going out. I don't know what my aspirations are. I think definitely minimum top four for this year for the league. It looks like we are going to mount a title challenge. And then anything else in here, bonus. I am going to take the Carabao Cup. Cup half seriously. We are rotating the squad, but I'm not really playing any real youngsters. There'll be Chong, maybe um, Andreas Pereira. He may play. Apart from that, I think that's about it. So, guys, if you enjoyed today's episode, please leave a like in there. We will be back Thursday, three episodes a week Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. The Baggio one will start when the main game drops. There will be an intro out possibly Saturday. 
maybe someday as well, just explaining the, the backstory behind it. Please, guys, remember to follow me on Twitter, which is that bit, whoop, whoop, that bit there. And also join me on Discord as well. I've got a few guys in there that we're just starting to chat about uh, the new game, stuff for the Baggio series as well, if you want to get involved. People are chatting in the comments a lot, but it's great to speak to you on, on the Discord. So follow the links. It's in the description below. And I will see you guys on Thursday for part two of the United Way. See you later.